are you doing tonight, today, whenever you are watching this? Welcome back to Nick's Ramble ASMR. It's your boy Nick, just chilling here. Um, you're there, I'm loving it. I just want to show you something very cool. We just changed this goal because, guys, we just crushed our goal of 3,000 subscribers. So. Thank you so, so, so much. Um, that means the world to me. And um, yeah, so our next goal is that. And if you want to be on the wall, just, you know, the buttons, the push, click the join button. But um, yeah, I wanted to make this video. So this is a video that is very near and dear to my heart, as many um, as it is for many of you guys as well. Um, on this channel, we do monthly intentions. So every month, every month, every month, we are going to set an intention to follow for the month. Um, and intention is something that you are going to follow. Um, it's basically a thought that you are going to hold on to this month. And we are just going to see how it changes the way that we live our life, the goal is to kind of shake things up a bit, uh, get you and I out of our ruts, and uh, also to just try new muscles and see what uh, you may learn from this. Um, so you have that interest use, hit the subscribe button, we're going to do this, I'm going to have a video at, at the beginning of every month, so this video is for March, 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 so I um, if you're watching this outside of March, this can also be for you as well. Um, it, it'll be very useful, but, um, let's get into it. I'm going to tell you what the month's intention is, and then I'm going to kind of go into, um, more specifically, like, how that might manifest in your day-to-day -day life. And then if you're really curious about the process, I'm at the end, I'm going to talk about last month's intention and how that worked for me. And uh, feel free in the comments to let me know how that worked for you as well in the, uh, down below. Um, okay, so let's get into it. So, our intention, our intention, our intention, our intention, our intention, 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 intention. For this month is... Our intention this month is to be intentional. I know it's funny, but stay with me. <laughs> um, our intention this month is to be intentional. So I want you to put this into your brain. You can leave this channel. Um, something that helps to solidify this intention, if you do want to follow it, is click the like button comment. The more you stay on this video, the longer this will probably stay in your brain. Also, click our Discord down below, but intention. Let's talk about it for a second. So, being intentional. With this in mind, um, I don't know about you, but for most of life, you know, we can kind of go about our days not really thinking that we have a choice going on autopilot, um, and that can be good for some things, but for many, it's not, and let's go in this month having an intention for almost everything you do, so instead of, you know, waking up and, you know, eating breakfast and then going, you know, dropping the kids off or, you know, going to work. Um, and then coming home and watching TV and then sleeping, we're going to wake up and we're going to go like this. We're going to wake up and then we're going to be like, okay, I'm going to go to the bathroom. And you're going to think, why am I going to the bathroom? And you're going to be like, to relieve myself or to clean myself. And you'll be like, okay, so I'm brushing my teeth to clean my teeth to take care of myself. That's intentional. 
know when you're driving and you start munching on some snacks, ask yourself, is there an intention behind why am I eating right now? Is it because I'm actually hungry? Is it because I'm nervous? Why? I'm also really curious and how this will manifest in our personal lives as well. So, for instance, right now, me and my friends are all, we're all trying to date people. And, you know, if you're going out on a date, um, be intentional about it. Are you going on a date to actually meet this person or are you just trying to get into the rhythm of it? There isn't necessarily a right or wrong. Um, we're not going to live in that mind space, but it's more just being intentional with knowing why you're doing what you're doing. And if you don't know, figuring that out or stopping doing what that thing is. Um, so try and be really intentional and um, let that guide you this month. So if you don't know what you want to do, be intentional. I think I'm hoping, I don't know about you, I'm hoping this will help to alleviate some discrepant discrepancy with um, indecisiveness and all of that. So, for instance, if you're a type of person where you don't understand why you don't want to make a choice, I think by being actively aware of all the choices you do sign up for in your day that you are intentional about, it's going to help build your confidence that you make choices and you make good choices and maybe that will make it actually clearer when you don't know what to do, what you're actually gravitated towards doing. Um, yeah, let me know what you're excited for for this month. I, you know, if you want reminders, uh, join our Discord down below. We journal in there every day. We have a lot of mental health journals like gratitude and self-love and all uh, those fun journals, but uh, I'll, it's, it'll be a great place to kind of explore how this intention will change our lives. So, yeah, I'm very excited about it. Um, last month's intention was a, a whirlwind for me, so let's talk about it, shall we? Um, I really don't, we'll see how this, these videos progress, but I really don't want to tell you guys last month's intention until you choose to hear it, you know, in this video right now, or, you know, follow it. So that's why I'm waiting, waiting until right now to tell you what last month's was, in case you want to do it, but, um, last month, our intention was, ready? Honesty, honesty, honesty. Um, I don't know how that worked for you, uh, but for me, I thought it was a very interesting intention to have for a whole month. There were a lot of times where I, you know, thought that honesty was, um, you know, how, like, deep down, you know, how, like, you think honesty is just about being honest with everyone around you and everything. Well, um, that's true. So, like, that was the first catalyst for, like, the whole month is, like, being honest with, like, um, how I feel towards people, um, not holding in emotions, like really expressing vulnerability with people, right? That was my first stage. I did that with, you know, um, some friends and some dates and, and also right now in this video, sorry, this is a little jumpy, but I'm doing like a check-in. So if you want to check in, comment down below, please let this be a place where we can just discuss how everything went. But, um, yeah, I was being very, 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 um, honest with the date. So, for instance, I went on a date and they didn't make me feel good, and I, instead of waiting until the date was over for me to, like, reflect on it, I actually just told the person right then and there, hey, like, you not talking to me didn't make me feel good. And I was very proud that I did that. Um... I have also been really honest with myself about work. There were some um, gigs that I was supposed to do that I dropped last minute because I didn't want to do it. And that was 
honest with myself. Um, what was fascinating is honesty is a double-edged sword. So, you know, you can be honest with other people, right? But then what I found out was more important for me was honesty with myself. And I found it tricky to be honest with others all the time if I wanted to be honest with myself all the time. So I kind of came to this compromise where I was okay with white lying if it meant that I was being honest to myself about not doing something. That's something I would love to work on. But for instance, with work, I, would, I wouldn't say I didn't want to go out and make up an excuse that wasn't real. And I, I don't think that was great. Um, but I was proud that I was honest with myself for not doing that. I'm still in that state right now, the end of February. Um, so, you know, that's something to learn. Um, but honesty is a very vulnerable intention. Um, it was very, very vulnerable. So, yeah, I really would love to hear how it went for you. Um, but I very much enjoyed it. I don't know about you, but I really enjoy these intentions that last a month. We used to do them weekly, which if you're interested, I guess we can maybe go back one day. But to be honest, seeing how an, an intention falls in your life, I've, I've been really enjoying that because I've been finding new meaning in the intention as the weeks progressed. So I'm very excited to see what this new one is going to be. Um, this new intention to be intentional is I received this idea from a friend who is all about being honest but also intentional. He kept saying, I want to be intentional, I want to be intentional, I want to be intentional. And I thought that would be an interesting thing because for me in my life I feel like I'm very free-floating. A lot of the time I've been having very high existential moments recently because I feel like I'm floating on a rock in the middle of the universe and waiting for something to click that isn't clicking and um, I think it'll be very good for me to set intentions with my day-to-day -day life um, to see where I'm intentional and where I'm not um, and I think it's going to relieve my brain a lot of stress to be like you know for the moments, the days, I don't know about you, but you know what, you just wake up and sometimes you're like, what am I doing? I think if we act more intentionally, the answer will be really obvious. You'll be like, oh, I'm eating food to sustain my body right now. I'm resting because I'm tired. Um, yeah. So. Let me know how this shapes up for you, please. I'm just so excited for this. I hope that you follow this as well. Um, and I also wanted to, I'm not sure if you guys noticed, but um, I, well, I, I've been kind of posting videos the same as normal, but I've been, I was really, really sick for the last six, five days. Um, I had a stomach flu and um, I, just want to say sorry that I maybe haven't been on YouTube and stuff for it. Uh, your boy's feeling better, but it, yeah, it was not fun. <laughs> but maybe that's a ramble for another time. But um, we'll go into this month setting this intention. May this month be a really good month for you. Breathe through it.